Hey, you guys, my name is Liz Jensen, and I have a question for you. Have you thought about what you're grateful for yet today? Have you counted your blessings yet today? Hopefully this becomes something that you do intentionally every day. And I promise you that is the recipe for a happier life is gratitude. Whether it be in life in general or in your health journey, focusing on the good and what you're grateful for will completely change your life and your mindset. So I'm going to share a few of my top ways that I like to really focus on gratitude in my life. Number one, I keep a gratitude journal. Every day, I like to write down at least one thing that I'm grateful for. Once you start thinking of things, it's hard to only stop at one. But if you can intentionally think of something that you're grateful for every day and write it down, um, it's so fun to look back through all of your blessings in your life when you're having a hard day. So the second thing that I do is a gratitude walk. I do this with my kids. It's a lot of fun. Anytime we go to the store, I pass up the rockstar parking spot and I like to park farther back in the parking lot, not just for the extra steps, because that is bonus, but I like to take that time, that extra 30 seconds walking into the store for a gratitude walk to really start thinking about what I'm grateful for that day. And the more I do it, it's just more automatic that whenever I'm walking from point A to point B, I'm thinking of what I'm grateful for. And I do that with my kids, especially when they're a little bit grouchy, we stop at a store or anywhere that we're going, I park farther and we do a gratitude walk. We all share things that we're grateful for that day. Another great place to do that is around the dinner table. Ask your family, what are you grateful for today? What was the best thing that happened today? Um, when you say that out loud, your brain receives it differently. You learn in different ways by reading it, by writing it, by saying it out loud. Um, the more we do it, the more automatic it becomes. Um, I like the acronym GAS. I'm going to gas you for a second. <laughs> so that stands for gratitude every day, looking for things that you're grateful for, choosing your attitude and servitude, looking for ways that you can serve others. So for our challenge today, I want you to get a pen and paper, and I want you to write down 10 things that you are grateful for today. Once you do that, you can cross off your bingo square, but I really encourage you to do that every day. Look for things that you're grateful for, write it down, say it out loud, share it with other people, and your mind will start looking for things to be grateful for, and you will enjoy your journey. All right. Have a good day.